Hi everyone, so this video is just going to be a recap of whatever we have already covered. So bonding, we have studied two types of bonding till now. So ionic bonding and covalent bonding. We are going to be looking at metallic bonding um, in the coming lessons. So ionic bonding is the transfer of electrons when you have metals and non-metals metals will form cation non-metal will form anions the metal is going to lose electrons and this electron is going to be transferred to the non-metal and the charge of the cation or the anion will depend on the valency for metals the valency is equal to the group number and for the non-metal, the valence is equal to 8 minus group number. So, for example, aluminium oxide, aluminium is in group 3. It has valency 3, so it will form a charge of 3 plus. So, 3 plus actually here. And this is what is shown here. So, Al, the outermost shell is completely filled so we're showing only outermost shell whether it's for ionic or covalent and the charge is plus three and for the non-metal so oxygen is in group six therefore it has valency two it will have six electrons of its own here so six electrons of its own and then two electrons which are gained from the aluminium so the charge is two minus because the valency is two and to balance the charge we're going to consider the formula of the compound so there's two al so we put a two here and it's free oxygen so we put a three here so the charges are balanced now for covalent bonding covalent bonding is a sharing of electrons and it occurs only between non-metals and the number of electrons shared will be equal to the valency of that non-metal so how do you proceed to draw dot and cross diagram for covalent compounds first you draw the skeletal diagram this is the skeletal diagram then you draw the circles and then you fill in the shared electron at the center and then you complete the electron count so for each non-metal the number of electrons that it has of its own should be equal to the group number for example oxygen is in group six therefore it should have six electrons of its own one two three four five six so these are just the countings being shown okay you don't need to show this in your dot and cross diagram carbon is in group four therefore it will have four electrons of its own it's dots here so one two three four dots so i don't need to add anything in the shells here so it's already uh, has its four electrons of its own and then because oxygen has valency two therefore it's going to form two bonds and two bonds means two pairs of electrons two pairs of electrons means four electrons in total shared so two pairs which means two dots and two crosses okay so this is just an overview of ionic and covalent bonding